friends, welcome or welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you so very much. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my Oliver. And we are so happy you're here as well. Today I have a great uh, video for you. So I hope you sit back and enjoy it. And with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I am going to take out this um, decal that I created off of my Cricut and these three wood planks I got from Dollar Tree. And then I am going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and elephant. And then I'm also going to use some tops from some five gallon stir sticks. And I'm going to start off by cutting off all of the um, strings from these plaques and then I'm going to lay them out and um, glue them together. Now I had to turn them around because they are kind of warped in, on some of them. So I was trying to make it a little more even. So then I take these five gallon uh, stick tops and I'm going to glue them to attach those pieces together. And I just put some wood glue in the middle and hot glue on the ends. Now, if you don't have any of these five gallon wood tops, um, because you know I had cut my sticks and I had those left over, you can always use jumble craft sticks or rulers or anything like that. And then I just painted it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And then I am just doing some dry, dry brushing with my elephant color and um, doing some distressing around the edge as well. Now, if you don't like distressing, you can just do it however you like it and whatever makes you happy. This is just inspiration and this is what I like. So I am taking this chicken. Now, I did not print this together because I had the green leaves. So I did this part separate, but I'm just going to add this to the middle of that decal. And then I'm going to use my transfer tape to transfer the whole thing onto my boards. Now, I don't know, there may be an easier way of doing this um, with my Cricut. I don't know, but this is what I found has worked for me whenever I'm doing multicolored things. So then I'm just taking my decal here and just rubbing it or braying it, burnishing, burnishing is the word, <laughs> onto my sign. Now I am going to have in my description box a link to this since I created it, um, but the link is only if you have Cricut Design Space. So unfortunately, I don't know how to do it any other way yet. I am trying to learn how to make things so that I can share them with you guys. So be patient with me while I am learning. So I just took some jute twine here and I tied a knot on the end and then I wrap it around the board three times. I trim it, tie another knot and then hot glue it. The reason why I do the knots is I just feel like it gives it a little bit more for the hot glue to hold on to. And then I do that on both sides. And then after that, I took some of this ribbon I got from um, Amazon. I will have that in my Amazon store, which you can find um, in my description box as well. And I just do the awareness ribbon and scrunch it up. And I'm taking one of those uh, jute hangers that I got off of one of the plaques there and I just wrap it around a few times on the middle and tie it so that way we have a bow and then once I'm done I will just trim off the little tails there and then I will uh, cut that ribbon off and then I will dovetail the ends and then I am going to hot glue this to the top left corner of my sign super easy project. I love the way this came out. Ugh, I just love it. And then I'm just uh, used some shipping paper from Dollar Tree and I'm hot gluing it all the way around the back and then I trimmed off the excess. Now I'm taking four of these more of these tops and I am just using some wood glue and and some uh, hot glue and I'm going to glue them on top, two on top of each other, if that makes sense. And the reason why I'm doing this is normally I would use tumbling tower blocks to make a stand for my sign, but I figured that sign is so big that they wouldn't work too well, so I decided to use these, plus I need to <laughs> use up all these that I have. But um, I'm just going to hot glue these onto the back so that I have a stand. Now, if you want to hang this, you could use a hanger instead, but I'm going to put this above my cabinets in my kitchen, and so I thought I would rather have it standing up instead. 
So after that, it's complete. And I love the way this came out. You'll have to let me know what you think. But I came up with this saying and I just thought, I, I cook, I don't enjoy it, and I'd much rather have a self-service kitchen. <laughs> okay, so here's DIY number two. So for this DIY, I'm going to use basically all Dollar Tree items except for my paint. Now, you may have seen one of these before. I see them all the time on Pinterest, and I also saw Monarch Mom create one of these, and I just love them, and I think they're so cute, and I really wanted to make my own, so that's why I am making this one. Uh, hopefully, you are not tired of seeing them. So I'm just going to start off by taking all of those items and painting them with my white chalk paint. And then once they were dry, I am going to take my elephant and I'm going to um, do my distressing and dry brushing all over each one of those. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome. I am so glad you stopped by today. If you like what you see and you like home decor on a budget as well as thrift thrift flips, holiday decor, and gift ideas, then I would invite you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of our family. And then let me know in the comment box that you are new here. I love to get to know all my subscribers and to um, just see where they're from and uh, see what you think of my DIYs because I do this for myself, but I also do it for you guys because you guys are the ones who watch. So if there's something that you guys don't like, I try not to do it. <laughs> and anyways, if you are not new here, make sure you give me that thumbs up as well because that helps my channel grow as well as commenting. I love to hear from all of you guys. So it, it always tickles me to see your comments. So once I was done distressing or dry brushing everything, I took my E6000 and some hot glue and I put it on the top part of that butter dish because we're going to glue it down to the tray of the butter dish. And then I'm going to use my E6000 and hot glue again and um, attach that candlestick to the bottom of that butter dish. And then I'm going to use some ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue this all the way around that butter dish. Now I had to put little bits of hot glue here and there just because it's a rounded. Um, so it didn't really want to lay very well. So that's why I'm using the hot glue there just to get it to lay correctly. And then I'm just going to trim it off and hot glue the ends to the back there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with some twine that I also got from Dollar Tree. And this twine I believe I found at um, in the crafter square section of Dollar Tree. And then once I get done with that, I'm gonna make a couple of bows and add them as well. Have any of you guys been in Dollar Tree lately and have them have announcements that like customer service and cosmetics or customer service and automotive? I was in a Dollar Tree the other day and I kept hearing that and I kept laughing because it's like, what? What? <laughs> when do they have customer service in sections? I just thought it was the funniest thing. Y'all have to let me know in the comment box if you've heard that before. Ugh, it was it was quite interesting. For some reason, it just really made me <laughs> laugh. <laughs> okay, so after I get this bow made, and it was just a regular shoestring bow, I mean, I, ma I made a bow with the um, the twine as well, and putting it on top of that bow. And then I am going to use a little dab of hot glue and I'm just going to wrap the tops with that same twine. And I do this on each one. Now, if you don't like the farmhouse look or the distress look, or if you want to make this, you could do it so many different ways. You could wrap ribbon around that. You could wrap like the um, adhesive rhinestone uh, strips from Dollar Tree if you want to do more glam look. You could just do, there's so many ways to do this. Uh, and I saw all kinds of ways on Pinterest. So you could just make it your own. So I just used some hot glue on the bottom of those salt and pepper shakers so that they didn't move around. And then I'm just gonna add um, some little flowers to each one. And that's all there was. And by the way, I did make little bows. I'm sure you noticed <laughs> for those as well. You don't even have to do bows if you don't like bows. I like bows, as you can tell, because I put them on almost everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> so there they are. I just love the way this came out. You have to let me know in the comment box below how, uh, what you like or what you thought about it. And if you've ever made one yourself, I'd love to know. Okay, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find my links to that as well as other accounts that I'm affiliated with in my link tree in the description box below. Okay, DIY number three. So for this DIY, I am going to use a transfer from Chalk Couture. If you don't know, I am a Chalk Couture designer. I'm going to use this uh, mason jar sign from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to use my chalk paste in the color Storm, in the color Meadow, in the color Current Jam. And I don't know why I show you my bright white because I don't use that. And I knew I wasn't going to use it. <laughs> I was having a moment. So I use my heat gun here and I'm just removing this um, metal piece, just using the heat to kind of release some of that glue. And then once I got that off, I used my heat gun to remove that tag there. And then um, I got my staple remover to remove the hanger, but those staples were not in there very securely and they came right out. I didn't really even need it. So then I took some goo off because um, it was still kind of sticky where that tag was and I'm just making it unsticky. And then I am going to use my little finger sander and just do a little sanding where those holes were so that they're not apparent, but it's not gonna matter because I'm putting the metal piece back on there. <laughs> So, oh my goodness, sometimes. Okay, so I just painted that whole sign white. And of course, I'm doing this on the back side because I don't want to deal with the paper on the front. So anyways, once it was all painted white, I am just doing my distressing with my elephant color. And I was so proud of myself for remembering to distress the middle because a lot of times I'll put my transfer on and then I'm like, oh, I wanted to do, to do distressing, darn it. And then I have to try and do it around the the image. But anyways, so I'm using my surface wax here and I'm just rubbing this all along that. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm not using a chalkboard and I want to make sure that that surface is completely smooth for my transfer. So since this is the first time I've used this transfer and since they are adhesive, you don't want it to stick too harshly on your surface or it could stretch the transfer. So I fuzz it Five, about four or five times just to uh, make sure that it will come off smoothly. So after that, I'm going to use my storm chalk paste and I'm going to uh, go over the the measuring cups and the wordings with that storm color. And then I'm going to use my metal green for the leaves and my current jam for the little berries. Now, if you have never tried chalk couture, and are interested in trying it that we do have uh it's a called couture, club couture and it's $19.99 it's about $20 a month and you get a free exclusive transfer that's not available to everyone you also get three single pastes that coordinate with that transfer as well as a squeegee um it is a great thing to sign up for if you are interested in trying it um you only have to sign up for it for three months. I mean, you can do longer if you'd like, but it's just a requirement for three months. I just learned that recently. <laughs> um, but you do get an exclusive transfer and it is so fun to use, you guys. And it always looks so high end when you're done and it's really easy. And so if you're interested in trying, I would suggest doing that or they do have some kits. They do sell them a little bit more, but they do come with a few more extra things. So check it out. You can find my dis uh, link to my Chalk Couture site in my description box. And if you have any questions, just make sure you email me. I'd love to um, answer you and give you any information you might need. So as you see, I just hot glued that metal piece back on and then I'm just making another bow. I think I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby, but you can use any kind of bow you like and you can find black buffalo check bows or yarn, uh, ribbon just about anywhere. Other than Dollar Tree, you can find it sometimes, but usually it's the smaller one. So then after I had the bow made and dovetailed it, I am just going to cut out some of these little flowers. I thought this coordinated very well with the leaves and the berries on the sign as well as with my previous DIY. And then I'm just going to hot glue them right in the top left corner there. And then after that, I'm going to hot glue the bow right into the middle there. And I, I love the way this came out, you guys. I love actually all of these projects. I am just 
really loving today. So I just used some more of the shipping paper and I'm just covering up that ugly back with it and then I will trim off that excess shipping paper with an X-Acto knife here. And once it was all trimmed off, then I am just going to use some more twine. I'm making some knots. Um, I decided it was too long there so I had to make another knot and then I'm going to hot glue them on the end. Now I don't know if I'm going to actually keep this as a hanging sign so I may add some tumbling tower blocks on the bottom if I want it to stand so you could do either way. So here it is. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one. I just love it. And again, if you're interested and want more information, go ahead and email me or you can just check out my site. Here is DIY number four. So for this DIY, I'm going to use these wooden spoon and fork from Dollar Tree, this wooden plaque from Dollar Tree. Now this white piece came from one of the little uh, wedding reception plaques that you can get from Dollar Tree. And then these stickers from Dollar Tree and my Waverly chalk paint, the color white and elephant. I just start off by painting this plaque with my white. I'm going to paint the front and the back. Because I'm gonna have this as a hanging sign, I and because of the way the utensils are gonna be attached, I didn't think I could put um, shipping paper on the back so that's why I'm painting the front and the back and then I took my gray and I'm going to paint the front and the back of both the spoon and the fork and I just make sure you get into the crevices with that paint as well after that I took my gray and I'm just doing my distressing all around the plaque and then I am going to distress a little bit in the middle as well And then after I'm done with the plaque, I'm going to take my white paint and this bigger chippy brush and I'm going to do some dry brushing along the utensils. And again, if you don't like distressing, you can always do this a different way for you. This is just for inspiration. So then I took uh, one of these hangers that I had sitting next to me from one of my previous DIYs and I'm just making a hanger and I just threaded it through both the spoon and the fork. And then I'm going to... Um, get my hot glue and I'm sorry if this is not in frame but I am going to hot glue the uh, spoon and fork together as well but I'm moving it around here because I wanted to make sure they were in the right angle that I wanted then I'm using that little white piece and I'm just going to hot glue that to that spoon because the fork was raised a little bit since it was laying on top of the spoon and then I'm going to hot glue that plaque onto both then I'm just going to take these letters and I'm using my little ruler here just to make sure I have them lined up evenly because I'm really bad about that part guys. <laughs> I make things crooked all the time. My husband asks me to look at and see if something's straight and I'm always like Ugh, you don't ask want to ask me because I'll think it's straight and then later look at it and go oh that's not straight. <laughs> um, so I'm just spelling out the words eat and then after that, I'm gonna get some of these transfers that I got from Dollar Tree, these rub on transfers, and I'm just gonna put a couple of those sweet little um, vines there. I think they're supposed to be olive branches. And I'm just using my uh, little brayer, no, burnishing tool, and I am just rubbing it. And you can tell when it's about done because it changes from black to like a gray color, a dark gray. So once I start seeing it change, then I just go and lift up the plastic piece, and there it is. And then I just make another little bow with that ribbon from Dollar Tree and add it to the top. And that's it for this one. Super easy, super farmhouse, and I just love it. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well. And which one was your favorite one today? And have you created any of these yourself before? And if so, how did you do it? And you guys, if you would like to send me pictures of your creations, I would love to get those. You can email them to me. And if you are okay with me sharing them, I would love to share them on my videos as well and give you credit. So let me know if you send me one, if you would like it to be added onto my video. So here's the final uh, reveal of all my DIYs, guys. Again, if you're new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go become part of our family. Make sure you all give me that thumbs up and comment. That helps me grow. And with all that being said, you guys, I will be back on Friday with another video. So have a blessed week and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.